Ah, Ah, schön! Okay. Rose, you're going to forget me. Okay, sorry, sorry. That's it. Okay. Alright. Action! Today, we're going to cover the rapid screening of the musculoskeletal system. Inspect the patient's movement systematically in response to your instructions and your demonstrations of the desired movements. Any abnormalities detected in screening are followed with a more detailed focus examination and evaluation. With practice, the examiner can complete the screening examination in three to five minutes with most patients. There are three important questions for you to ask your patient. Number one, have you had any pain or stiffness in your muscles, joints, or back? Number two, can you dress yourself completely without any difficulty? Number three, can you walk up and down the stairs without any difficulty? If the patient answers yes, you should add questions such as how, where, and when the pain or limitation occur to further evaluate or diagnose the problem. Have your patient sit with proper posture on a chair without arms for him or her to move comfortably during the examination. Let's start with the TMJ or temporomandibular joint. Place your hands in front of your ears, feeling for your temporomandibular joint. Open and close your mouth. Jot your lower jaw forward. Here we are observing for the range of motion. For the cervical spine, turn your head to the left side and then to the right side. Tilt your head to the left and the right side. Here we are observing for cervical rotation and lateral flexion. For the shoulder, both at the same time, place your hands behind your head Elbows out to your side. Lower your arms and move your hands behind you to the small of your back. Here we are observing the glenohumeral joint, sternoclavicular joint, and the acromioclavicular joint movement. Also, the external and internal rotation of shoulders. For the elbows, both at the same time, bring your arms forward straight in front of you. Bend and then straighten both arms. Here we are observing the flexion and extension of elbows. For the wrists, hold your hands out in front of you with palms down, bend hands down, and bend hands up. Turn your hands over, palms up. Here we are observing for swelling or malalignment, flexion, extension, and supination. For the hands and fingers, both at the same time, make a fist. Extend and stretch fingers out. Touch the thumb to each fingertips. The examiner gently squeezed across the second and fifth metacarpophalangeal joints. Here we are observing for flexion, extension, fine precision pinch, dexterity, and tenderness. Now moving on to the lower extremities, the hips. One side at a time, right side first. Raise your foot up off the floor six inches keeping the knee bent. Move the knee out, abduction, and then in, adduction, over the midline. Repeat for the other side. Here we are observing flexion, abduction, and adduction. For the knees, one side at a time, right side first. Bend knee, then straighten knee. Repeat for the other side. Here we are observing for swelling, malalignment, flexion, and extension. For the ankles and feet, first one side and then the other, right side first. Lift the foot off the floor and bend ankle up. Straighten, stretch ankle. Tilt the sole of the foot inward and then outward. Then repeat for the other side. Here we are observing for swelling, dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, inversion, and eversion. Now for the spine, the patient stand up. Examiner stand at patient's side with one foot raised in front of the other and holds the patient at the hips to stabilize and prevent fall. Now have the patient bend forward and attempt to touch the floor. 
The ability to rise out of the chair involves spine, hips, knees, and ankles, and we are observing for lumbar spine and hip flexion. Now for today, the patient preferably should be barefooted because we will be observing for patient's gait or manner of walking. Now ask the patient to walk the distance of the room and then return. Here we are observing for symmetry, smooth rhythmic flow, full stride, full stride length. The knee should be extended at heel strike and flexed at all other phases of swing and stance, and the ability to turn quickly. With this screening, you have so much to offer to your patient. You have so many things you can detect with musculoskeletal problem that need your attention. Hopefully appreciating how important our pre-diagnosis. Patient will have less joint damage. Thank you very much. Thank you.